tell me, Terry. We are packed all the way from turn four all the way to turn one. The race car drivers have showed up tonight. We are going to have a great night of racing, but I got one question for you. How many of you race fans are ready for some great racing action? It's the Tony Roper Memorial 2020 here at Lemon Midway Speedway on this beautiful Friday, May the 29th, as we get ready for heat race action. Up first will be the McHale Industries Heat Races. We'll have three heat races for McHale Industry Midwest Mod Heat Races. Your top four will make it to the A main. Everybody else will be making it to the B feature. And ladies and gentlemen, a special announcement, breaking news. Since the cash money late models like coming here to Lebanon Midway Speedway, during intermission, we are going to have ourselves an autograph session as the late models will be making their way to the front stretch. And we are going to have an autograph session for you race fans. Since the late models have showed up and you race fans have showed up, we're going to give you a special treat tonight with an autograph session. Midwest first heat. We get to the staging area. Midwest first heat to the staging area. We're getting ready to roll out for heat race number one. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, tonight's Midwest feature. Thanks to Eagle Machine out of Buffalo, Missouri. The feature winner, winner will draw two positions, and them two drivers will take home $50 each thanks to Eagle Machine from Buffalo, Missouri. Here we go, first heat for the Tony Roper Memorial coming out of the racetrack. Heat race number one, L3, as they come out for eight laps. Top four walk into the A main. On the front row, it'll be the 59T of Toby Sherrill. And on the outside of him will be the 48 of Zach Cheevers. Row number two on the inside will be the G12 of Austin Greer. On the outside of him will be the 27 of John Dame. Row number three on the inside will be the 14 of Derek Davis. On the outside of him will be the 59 of Rob Muhlenberg. And in row number four will be the two of Justin Day. Lights are off around the mighty Midway Speedway. It's time to kick off the Tony Roper Memorial. Green flag in the air. We're racing. Toby Schill out front is row is three wide now. Turn number two up in second. Six. 12 of Austin Greer as they come around to turn number four for lap number one. Lap number one in the books goes to the 12 of Austin Greer. But as the 59s are battling there for a second, Rob Yenberg only up to the second spot. As now the 14 of Derek Davis on the inside of the 59, T.O. Toby Sherrill as they go on the turn number four. But here comes Rob Yenberg taking lap number two. Rob Muhlenberg, now your new race leader. As the 12 of Austin Greer pass back to second. 14 of Davis up there in the third spot. As Muhlenberg will come down the front stretch there, taking lap number three. Remember, your top four will be locked into the A main. Everybody else will be going home or going to be featured. Four laps in, Muhlenberg still your leader. The 12 of Greer in second, the 14 of Davis in third. Keep your eye there on the two of Justin Day as he's itching his way onto the 27 of John Dane. There for third, fourth. Day now on the inside of the 27 of Day. as they're side by side battling there for fourth. As the 59 of Muhlenberg comes around, two more laps to go for the 59 of Rob Muhlenberg. Rob Muhlenberg, your leader, getting the white flag. One more lap to go. As Day and Dame still battling back there for fourth. 
Good battle here for the four spot as the 59 of Muhlenberg coming up on lap traffic as he comes out of turn number four. Checkered flag in the air for the 59 of Raw Muhlenberg. The 12 of Austin Greer is second, the 14 of Derek Davis third, and the two of Justin Day fourth. Your heat race winner, number one, is the 59 of Rob Muhlenberg. Now, lead him out on the poles, the 55 of Luke Gideon. On the outside of him will be the 7C of Derek Cook. Row number two on the inside will be the 87 of Dwayne Hobbs. On the outside of him will be the 32 of Joe Francis. Row number three on the inside will be the 25 of Billy Jones. On the outside of him will be the 55 of Kyle Lafferty. Row number four on the inside will be the 15 of J Jeremy Hazel. And on the outside of him will be the seven of William Garner. Eight laps your distance. The top four will make it to the A feature. Lights are off as they roll in the turn number four. Come out of four. Green flag in the air. We're right side. Give you lead them out of turn number two down the back stretch. As the 87 of Hobbs in second, the 32 of Francis in third, but here comes the 55 of Lafferty. As he charged up towards the front, but taking lap number one, he has the 55 of Luke Gideon. Joe Francis now on the inside of Hobbs, but Hobbs pulls away down the back stretch. Jeremy Hazel and Derek Cook battling back there for fifth. Jeremy Hazel now on the inside of the 55 of Lafferty. Battling there for that final transfer spot into the A feature. Luke Kenyon, still your leader out in front. The 87 of Dwayne Hobbs in second, the 32 of Joe Francis in third. Gideon, still hold on to the lead, but here comes the 87 of Hobbs. As Hobbs now on the inside of Gideon as they come out of turn number two. Look at this race, ladies and gentlemen. We got four cars up front, racing very hard and clean. Now here comes the 87 of Hobbs as Gideon got problems there in the 55 as he caution will come out for the 55 of Luke Gideon. Caution comes out for the 55 of Luke Gideon as the 87 of Dwayne. All right, the 87 of Dwayne Hobbs, your leader in the 15H of Jeremy Hazel. And the 32 of Joe Francis behind him. It's the 55 of Kyle Lafferty. On the inside of your next row, on the outside of him will be the 7 C of Derek Cook. Five laps in. Remember the top four will transfer to the A main. Everybody else will have to make it through the B feature. Here we go. Lights are off as D Hobbs leads him in the turn number four out of four. Green flag in the air. We're back to racing. Hobbs, your leader as the 15H of Jeremy Hazel in second. Here comes the 55 of Lafferty on the inside of Francis, battling there for third. As Hobbs comes down the front stretch, two more laps to go for the 87 of Hobbs. Right now, your top four is 87 of Wayne Hobbs, the 15 of Jeremy Hazel, the 32 of Joe Francis, and the 55 of Lafferty. White flag in the air, one more lap to go. Dwayne Hobbs cut out turn number four. Checkered flag in the air for the 87 of Dwayne Hobbs. Your heat race winner number two is the 87 of Dwayne Hobbs. And second was the 15 of Jerry Hazel. 55 of Kyle Lafferty. Third and the 32 of Joe Francis. Rounded off the top four. Then four drivers be transferring into the A feature. Everybody else will have to make it through the B. All right, our final heat race coming out for the McKill Industries Midwest Mods. 
Saudi on a pole will be the 08 of Brian Piercy. On the outside of him will be the 6T of Austin Treadway. Row number two on the inside will be the 15 of Trent Wynn. On the outside of him will be the 21 of Cody Lewis. Row number three on the inside will be the 286 of Jeff Albright Jr. And on the outside of him will be the 92 of Keith Cheevers. Your next one inside will be the 57 of Austin Dixon. Eight laps your distance. Remember the top four into the A main. Lights are off. Green flag in the air. Ryan Piercy, your leader, as he comes down the front stretch to take lap number one, the 15 of Trent Wynn in second. As the 286 of Jeff Albright Jr. on the inside of the 60 of Austin Treadway as Albright Jr. will take over the third spot as now Keith Cheever is in the 60 of Austin Treadway battling back there for fourth. Ryan Percy trying to hold off the 15 of Trent Wynn. Is there battling up front? Brian Piercy has now win on the inside of Piercy as they go down the back stretch. In the turn number three, win on the inside, Piercy on the outside as they come out of turn number four. Well, they got a little race leader in the 15, a Trent win out in front. Jeff Albright Jr. sitting now in the third spot, the 92 of Keith Cheevers in fourth. Sixty of Austin Treadway. In fifth, trying to get in that fourth and final transfer spot. Two more laps to go for the 15 of Trent win in the final heat race here for the McHale Industries Mid Midwest Mods. Top four will transfer to the A main. White flag in the air, one more lap to go. As Trent Wynn comes out of turn number four, checker flag in the air for the 15 of Trent Wynn. Your heat race winner, number three in the McKinnell Industries Midwest Mods, did 15 of Trent Wynn. In second, the 08 of Brian Piercy. In third, the 286 of Jeff Albright Jr. And your final transfer spot into the A feature, the 92 of Keith Cheevers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for the Tony Roper.